Hello friends, welcome to learning ETAP training series. Now, in this video, I will show you that uh, how to draw the eccentric columns. Because of, it is not necessary that each and every column that you are drawing, which is exactly on the intersection of the grid. Because of sometimes you have to make some offset, sometimes you have to make some different justification to draw the eccentric column. So for that, let us say if I will be uh, remove all these interior columns from here. Now let us say I will be set the option to a similar story. So if I will remove the column from here, it will be removed from all the stories as well because of we had set that story as a master story. So as you can see, all the interior columns from all the floor levels has been removed. Now I will be go to the quick draw columns options and from here let us say I will be use my type is regular column and it is a moment release continuous and here there are some of the different options that we need to be understand. Let us see if I will set bottom left and clicking on this point. So as you can see I, I am going to draw the column at bottom left point. So this is my bottom side, this is the bottom point of the co column and left side. Similarly, I can also draw the column that is say bottom center. So as you can see, this is my bottom center and uh, let us say bottom right. So this is also another option that is say bottom right. So like this, you can explore all these options to draw a column. So let us say if I set uh, middle center, so it will be draw exactly in middle. And if I will be set some offset, let us say 300 mm offset from the grid and uh, horizontally only 300 mm offset. So as you can see, let us say this is my grid intersection and if I am specifying the offset 300 mm, so it is specific, it is drawing the column exactly at middle center 300 mm offset apart. Let us say bottom left and 300 mm offset in the x direction. So that one as you can see 300 mm offset has been set in the x direction so this option has been set. Let us say if I will be set offsets say 2000 and uh, as you can see it has been draw the column the distance of 2002 meter from bottom left as a set point. So this is how you will be explore you will be draw the eccentric column in your project. So last couple of videos will be not our uh, for existing project. Th these are the things that you need to be understand that you need to be required in order to get uh, modeling in your existing or in your project. Now we will be opening our, our actual file and uh, our actual file that is uh, building one and we will be start modeling in that building one model we we had completed the modeling portion and now we are going to apply loading in that uh, in this our project so we will meet on next video with applying the loading